what can be said about Taxi Racer that hasn't already been said about Jeffrey Dahmer. How does this game exist? I mean, really, how does something this horrible exist? How does this see the light of day? How do you make something like this and decide it's good enough to be released to the public? If gaming was a religion, Taxi Racer would be the Antichrist. The controls are completely and utterly broken in this game. Like, I say this a lot for bad games, but this is possibly the worst controls I've ever had the displeasure of handling. The turning is almost impossible, it's just so bad. You're constantly spinning out of complete control, and your car is like a rocket. If you hold down the accelerate button, the car just perpetually goes faster and faster until it reaches an insane speed. Like, it feels like something like 250 miles an hour. It feels like one of those rocket cars you test out in the desert, except there's buildings all around here, and turning when driving this fast is almost impossible. So your only options when actually driving the taxis in this game is to just pitter-patter the accelerate button. Just press it a little bit, let go. Press it a little bit, let go. And I mean, that's not how you drive a car. In a real car, you just hold down the pedal a little bit. You just, you don't keep pressing the, it, okay, you know, I don't need to explain to you how cars work. I realize all of you are human beings with an IQ over 50, you understand how a car is supposed to work. Unfortunately, the creators of this game obviously didn't. And the game is ugly too, oh my god, is it ugly. Everything is like a cardboard cutout. I mean, everything is a picture that they cut out from somewhere, possibly a magazine, and then put into the game. Everything, from the streets, to the sky, to the buildings, even the cars. The cars are just pictures. Look at that horizon. Look at this water. Oh my god, look how ugly this water is. The water looks like we're living in the world of reboot. So the gameplay here is pretty simple. It's a taxi. You pick up a fare, you drive them to the destination, and you let them out. There's several game modes. There's your standard mode where you have a whole day to pick people up and drive them places, but there's also a time trial mode. Both of these are virtually impossible for how horrible the driving is, but the time trial mode is especially impossible. Just because of how clunky and bad the moving around is, like the turning is such a hassle. Every time you turn, you will hit a wall. And it's not like hitting the wall hurts your car, no. Your car doesn't get damaged. In fact, your car can drive through all the street lights in the city and nothing will happen to it. All that happens when you hit a street light is the street light disappears, like magically, just puffs out of existence. Like your car is some kind of magician in the twilight zone. And it's the same thing for the trees, for basically anything destructible. You hit it, it just disappears and makes a crashing noise. Even when you're driving and not hitting anything, the game makes this crashing noise every two seconds or so. And the sound effect is awful, so I don't understand how they could miss something like this. How can they miss the fact that every two seconds the game makes a crashing noise even when you're not crashing into something? And you know when you're supposed to make a crashing noise? When you crash into a wall or a fence. And you know what you don't do? Is make a noise when you crash into a wall or a fence. Crashing into actual walls makes no noise. It doesn't hurt your car at all. I actually just noticed something while rewatching the gameplay footage. The reason the game keeps making the crashing noise every two seconds is because even when you drive near a tree or a street lamp, it still destroys it. Without even touching it, just being near it, just driving past it, you destroy every single street light. This game really does have the worst driving controls ever. What it has going for it, and the reason I'm not calling it the worst game ever, is because the graphics are not the worst. I mean, the graphics are obviously and observably horrible, but we've seen some games with far worse graphics than this, and that's the only thing that's stopping me from calling this the worst game of all time. As it stands right now, Taxi Racer is just one of the worst games of all time. And the game is really inconsistent too, like sometimes I see other cars, but then I go like 10-15 minutes without seeing anything on the road. I don't understand how this even works. Are there only three cars in the entire city? And once in a while we run into each other? 
Oh, and guess what? Everything I've said about this game, I didn't even need to say it. I could have saved my breath and simply said the following. This game was made by the same people who made big rigs over the road racing. I should have just said that in the beginning of the video and then showed a bunch of gameplay footage. But oh, the controls in this game, they're just unrelentingly bad. I mean, me explaining it and me showing you the gameplay footage doesn't do it justice. These are controls you really have to experience to really absorb the essence of their awfulness. It's like this game was programmed by a blind platypus. Somebody put a platypus in front of a keyboard and some game development programs. He turned around and started slapping the keyboard with his tail for about five hours. And then whatever changed on the screen during those five hours, they released it as this game. What I'm trying to say is, Taxi Racer isn't very good, fellows. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.